Peace and love. What's going on, y'all? Stevie Zenith, Rich From Anywhere. Welcome back to our channel. For those of y'all that are new, feel free to hit that subscribe button below. Feel free to hit that like button because we're always dropping sauce on this channel, okay? So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get back to you all, to the RFA squad. You all are so loyal, you all always hold us down. So what I wanna do is I want to answer all of your questions, all right? So this new series here is called Ask RFA, where you submit your question to RFA regarding digital marketing, regarding building your fan base as an independent artist or producer, and we're literally sitting here and answering all these questions. If you have a question that you never thought you would get answered by us, feel free hit that button below and and submit your question and we'll definitely get to you y'all all right so i'm gonna just go ahead and get into this i got my phone right here i got all these questions from you all and we're gonna answer a couple today all right so the first question comes from um nay boy and I, I hope i'm not pronouncing your name wrong bro it's at n-a-i underscore b-o-i all right not nay boy i hope i said it right all right so um this was actually a really good question what is the fastest way to build an organic fan base all right so this, this question comes, and, and this is a good question because I know a lot of independent artists out there do not have a whole lot of money to invest, all right? I understand it because we've been there ourselves, we've dealt with the same situation. So what do you do when you don't have money, all right? You have to utilize your time, okay? Because you don't have money to run, to run ads for digital marketing, so you have to utilize yourself as a vessel. This takes a little bit more time, but this technique is tried and true, it works, all right? So what you need to do is find at least 10 different Instagram accounts of music style influencers that have a huge niche in the music industry. Find at least 10 different accounts, all right? Set up the bell notification so that you get notified anytime they post something new, okay? Now, once they post something new, you wanna be one of the first people to actually leave a comment on their post, all right? Now, you're not gonna leave um, no spam on their post. You're actually gonna deliver some insightful commentary on whatever it is that they posted about. You're also gonna look through the comments and see what other people are talking about and start engaging in conversation with them, okay? Now, the more that you do this, the more people will continue to recognize you as someone of value, someone who knows what they're talking about, someone who people feel they might need to check out. Because trust me, these people that are um, posting, they're gonna look through the comments. If they continue to see your name and you have a paragraph long thread with nothing but sauce, they're gonna begin to take notice of you. And not only that, but other people that are following these particular influencers are also going to take notice, all right? From there, what you can do is you can start to link up and collaborate with some of these other people that are also leaving comments on their page, okay? So once you do that, your DMs are gonna start to get flooded with people who feel that you add value, okay? If you wanna build an organic fan base, you have to start with people who already have your fan. You have to leave insightful comments on their posts in order for others to take notice. This is gonna get you in the room with some of these bigger influencers that you never thought you might've gotten in the room with. They're gonna start to remember you. They're gonna start to look out for you. And now all of a sudden, you have some of the top influencers in the game who are checking for your stuff. Drop some dope stuff and collaborations can happen like that. I've seen it with my own eyes, all right? Now, this takes a little bit longer, so continue to do this. This is not just a week-long thing. You have to do this month after month after month and continue to grind, continue to drop your music, and you'll start to see a, a, a seismic shift in the people that rock with your music and as a result, the collaborations that can come from it. So, um, Nabo, I hope I answered your question accurately, all right? Okay, so next up. Um, we have 10K Astro, okay? 10K Astro, Astro asks, how do I launch a campaign? This is a very basic at the core um, of Facebook ads type of question. In order to launch a campaign, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your business manager is set up within Facebook, all right? Now, once you have your business manager set up, you can create something that we call an ad account, okay? An ad account is what you use to actually run advertising to your audience, okay? Make sure your ad account is set up accurately. We have a seven step blueprint. You can click the link below to get it if you need further assistance. But once you have your ad account set up, okay, now all you need to do is inside of your ads manager, you're gonna set up a campaign, okay? Now, inside of the ad account is the ads manager, okay? Inside of your ads manager is where you're gonna set up a campaign. Now, check this out. I'm gonna give you the breakdown. I'm gonna give you the anatomy of what a campaign consists of, okay? 
the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click the green create button. Now, once you do that, it's gonna, it's gonna set up a campaign for you. Now, the campaign level is at the very tippy top, all right? So picture it like this, like you're rubbing on the magic genie and you've summoned the magic genie and the genie's like, all right, what do you want me to do? So when you hit that green create button, Facebook's asking you, hey, what is it that you would like me to do? Do you want to, do you want to deliver traffic? Do you want more video views? Um, do you want to get conversions on your website? What are, you, what are you trying to do? Do you want more brand awareness? All of these things, right? You have to select what your objective is. Um, for a lot of artists that, that want people to start commenting on their posts and things like that, I would recommend doing a post engagement campaign because what Facebook is gonna do is they're going to deliver that budget towards people that they feel are more likely to engage with your post, okay? Once you select the post engagement as your objective, the next section is going to actually be the ad set section. So picture it like this. You have the campaign level, which is at the very top. That's where you're telling Facebook what you want it to do. At the ad set level is where you're telling Facebook who you want to target, where you want to target them, and the budget that you want to use to target these particular people, okay? That's the whole ad set level. So you're gonna enter in all that information inside of the ad set level. Do you wanna target them on Facebook and IG, or just Facebook, or just IG? All of those things you can decide in the ad set level. After the ad set, okay, you have something called the ad level. So let me back up even further. Remember, campaign level is first. That's where you're telling Facebook what you want it to do. At the ad set level is where you're telling Facebook who you want to target, right? Among other things. And then inside of the ad set, you have something called an ad, okay? Now, an ad is pretty much the picture or video that you're using to promote to these particular people that you chose to promote to, okay? That is the ad level. So. Let me tell you, let me give you some tips regarding the ad level. Make sure whatever video you're choosing, and I always recommend video, whatever video you're choosing to run ads towards, make sure that it is engaging. That is the key to this whole thing. You can have the best ad strategy in the world, but if, you're, if your picture or video isn't engaging, people ain't gonna engage. These are real people that you're driving traffic to. So they can literally comment and say your stuff is trash. Do not get offended, these are real people. Facebook is gonna do its job. It's up to you to deliver the right content. So make sure you have engaging content when you're running ads to get the best bang for your buck, especially when you're looking to get actual engagement and gain fans, okay? So I hope that helped you out, all right? All right, so now, um, next question comes from um, <clears throat> Shadow Vision 18. All right, Shadow Vision 18. Um, how much should I invest? Very good question. It's all dependent upon if you have a budget or not. Now, I know a lot, of, a lot of artists that are watching right now don't have the biggest budget. We always recommend anywhere from, you know, $200 a month to $1,000 a month, depending upon your budget. Now, if you're really balling on a budget and you can only afford to do, let's just say, $5 a day on ads, okay? Um, that's, that equates to $35 a week then you can do that. We've actually run ads at a dollar a day and gotten good results over time, obviously. The less budget you, you, you give to Facebook, um, they're gonna get you good results, but it takes a little bit longer time to do it because it's less of a budget. But we have ads literally running right now at a dollar a day that are getting us good engagement and getting us good traffic. So um, to answer your question, it's really dependent upon your budget. You can really work with any budget, but I would definitely recommend having a plan in place for the, for the weekly budget that you're gonna utilize. Um, my recommendation, at least $5 a day. You know, that's gonna get you your bang for your buck. That's $35 a week if you can afford that. Um, I would start there, you know? And honestly, it's better to get something out there than nothing at all. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend at least $5 a day to start, okay? Now, last question. This one comes from Produced by JD, and I'm gonna drop everyone's um, IG handle below as well. Um, all right, so this question is, what platform should I be on right now and for the future? There's a lot of these different platforms out here. Um, we always recommend going with our homies over there at United Masters because there's so much more to the platform than just them distributing your music to um, different streaming services, all right? United Masters is super duper dope because not only do they do all those things, but they also put artists in the position to win, okay? They have, they have a team. You can actually check out our podcast interview we did with, with Dave Melhado. 
um, who can actually give you a further breakdown of how it works. But just to just to make it brief, they actually have a team of people that look for particular artists that are bubbling, that are starting to generate traction on their platform. They literally have a team of people that look for the, look for those people, and then they come in and help you with your marketing. Super dope. Among other opportunities, they work with the NBA, they work with cell phone companies. Um, they have so much going on. My personal opinion is to rock with United Masters, sign up for them. If you couple what they're doing with a dope ad strategy, you can really, really win, gain notice from all these, all these um, marketers that are working within their platform. And they can help you to take your, your brand to the next level if you're bubbling. So I would say, honestly, um, produced produce by JD, United Masters is the platform you wanna be in now and into the future because I feel like all they're gonna continue to do is innovate, 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 okay? So with that being said, I'm gonna stop here with these questions today, but Y'all, feel free, all right? Click the link below, submit your question to us, and we will definitely get you an answer. Um, this is a new series. We're gonna continue to drop these videos as long as y'all continue to ask us questions. Um, and yo, with that being said, I'm out of here. My name is Stevie Zenith. Be sure to click that subscribe button below for more RFA sauce. Be sure to text RFA to 31996 as well to get all the exclusive discounts. We just had a huge sale on our course. Text that number, y'all. Text that number. There's going to be a whole lot more dropping from us. Um, without further ado, I'm out of here. Peace and love.